Hello and welcome to vlog number 12. Those of you that read my daily blog at dbsacompletenobrainer.co.uk will know that I've been suffering a lack of motivation for the last week and more. Thankfully it is now returning. My poor wife has found it very difficult to understand and I've really struggled to explain how I've been feeling. Basically because I don't really understand it either. So I thought I'd do a bit of research and try to explore this debilitating symptom of Parkinson's disease. I know that depression is a symptom of Parkinson's disease. I also know that at least 50% of people who have had DBS suffer with depression as a side effect. So is lack of motivation due to depression? Is it apathy? What is apathy? I really don't know, or at least I didn't. I found the following definition of apathy. A lack of motivation relative to the patient's previous level of functioning or the standards of his or her age and culture as evidenced by all three of the following. Diminished goal-directed behaviour. Diminished goal-directed cognition. Diminished emotional concomitance of goal-directed behaviour. Well, that's great. Now I know. I was hoping to find a slightly more accessible description than that. How about this one? Apathy refers to the lack of interest that can be seen in a person. Depression is a psychological condition where a person loses interest in daily activities and feels hopeless. Well, it sounds to me from that description that the two are very similar. However, a depressed person may have suicidal thoughts and urges. An apathetic person doesn't. If a person simply doesn't care about his or her life, job, family and friends, then that person could be considered to be suffering from apathy. Apathy is a symptom of Parkinson's disease and some other psychological conditions such as Alzheimer's and schizophrenia. In a person who is suffering from apathy, certain conditions can be seen. Lack of interest and motivation. Lack of energy. Unwillingness to act or accomplish anything. Lack of response to things which would excite a normal healthy person. Lack of emotional response. And a complete disinterest in one's relationships. So it's good to know, for me at any rate, that I may be suffering some of the symptoms of apathy, but I'm not apathetic. It's interesting to me that lack of motivation is merely one of the symptoms of apathy, so they aren't one and the same. Depression is a psychological illness where the person feels powerless, overwhelmed and lacking in interest. In a depressed person you could see some of the following symptoms. Depressed mood, lack of energy, lack of interest in daily activities, overeating or lack of appetite, feelings of guilt and powerlessness, lack of concentration, suicidal thoughts, excessive sleep or insomnia. OK, so I can tick some of the boxes there too, but I don't think I'm depressed. There are certain symptoms that are shared by both conditions, but there are symptoms, such as feelings of guilt and suicidal urges, which distinguish one from the other. Back to my lack of motivation. Motivation is a feeling that drives someone to perform a task. It can be understood as a joyful feeling or a sense of achievement that guides a person towards action. So, motivation is reward-based, which makes sense to me, as a person with Parkinson's, because dopamine, a neurotransmitter which is deficient in the brains of people with Parkinson's, is a major role player in reward-motivated behaviour. I now understand a little bit more about the differences between motivation, apathy and depression, but that doesn't really solve my problem. I guess I'll keep on plugging away and wait for the feeling to disappear, which it usually does, eventually. I'll also discuss motivation with my DBS programmer when I go back to hospital to have my neurostimulator adjusted next month, because I know that certain settings can provoke changes in mood and motivation. Watch this space. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Enjoy your week. See you next Friday.